Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to New Earth Super Mario Bros. Wii, and today is a good day because we are on a new session, and things are just great because I am finally off work for two days after this. Just cut off a shift today. And, oh, dang it, did I just exit out? Great. That's a great start to this. And waiting. Alright, let's try that one more time, shall we? Yeah, last few weeks of my life have consisted of working at the bakery alone, coming home, watching my hockey team lose, rinse and repeat. So, let's have some fun for a couple days, shall we? Let's get lots of recording done, just lots of seeing friends tomorrow and lots of life rather than work and watching Oilers lose. Alright, anyways, we are going into Drip Drop Drains, which I don't know if I've actually played. I think uh, Garrett and I just took the alternate route. Yeah, this looks like unfamiliar to me. Man, now it's been like, it feels like a lot longer than it has been since I played this game. But hopefully we're not acting like an idiot today. Why did I, as soon as I say it, I got rid of the freaking propeller suit for a fire flower. Wow. Hopefully there's a reason that makes that good today in this level that is anyways. Uh, oh wow, those chomper things are back. Great, this is, this is a great omen, alright. But there is some news, um, yeah, uh, all those, um, last videos that you saw before this one were done in the first session, but unexpectedly got replies from the creator of this game, or one of? I don't know, he never answered me on that, I thought it was a team thing that made it, the newer team, but I think it is, um. Uh, but anyways, uh, one of them's been commenting on my thing. And that's that's just really cool that he's been doing that and correcting a lot of the things um, basically to address some okay great uh, let's focus more on not dying first to address some um, mistakes I have made um, now that I'm trying to think of them I can't suddenly um the loading times have to do with I think he said the the fact just the way the games um, is or the way I have it on my SD card or whatever so <laughs> Not quite positive on that one, sure. I'm not, um, great technologically. Let's not jump into that Goomba. I don't know if we're gonna get a gap there. Great. Alright, great, great. Off to a great start today. This is wonderful. Alright, um, another thing. I was going off old Mario habits in the sense that... Oh, are you joking with me right now? Not cool, man. Not cool. Alright, well, at least that gets us up to this pipe. It's going off old Mario habits, and I was saying those springboards were not, you're not able to pick them up, is not true. I was just holding the run button like I'm used to. But, oh, here's per a perfect example. You gotta use the spin controls in this game, which is something I forgot, because I hadn't played a, the Wii games in a while. Oh, get coins! Coins! Alright, we love, we like coins on the show. Alright. And, uh, what else? What else was there? Um, the level I thought was a Super Mario one remix of the water theme for the music was not in fact a remix it sounds similar but it is its own song so kudos to him for that I, I, I've really enjoyed the music in this so far in fact I haven't really got a chance to listen to this one yet since I've been talking so much but it, it sounds very ambient and just very suiting and one thing I had mentioned in <laughs> I think I reply to him is that these are actually like my favorite kind of levels I just think this is such a cool concept and it hasn't been done enough in the real Mario games is I just like levels with a lot of pipes and like I don't know why sewers and pouring water it's just so cool and the fact that like this water will move you that's awesome <laughs> now, I sound like I'm fanboying over the game but frankly I just really like these I just like platformers frankly and this one has been done well thus far alright and I am frankly it's made me want to look into trying some other ones for um newer Super Mario Bros. Wii hacks, although, I, like I said, I don't think there's many out there. It might be a bigger thing um, someday, like the new, or, uh, sorry, the Super Mario World hacking got to be, but um, as for right now, I think the newer team has made pretty much the only good hacks out there I think I can think of, and um, the guy commenting on my thing, Scowo90, yeah, he uh, made another one called uh, another new Super Mario Bros. Wii, I think might be worth looking into. It's a bigger one. The other ones I can think of um, are shorter. I believe when I looked into it, they were made, and he'll probably know for sure, but um, they were made while this game was in production to be like 
little smaller games, and I think one was released afterwards. They're both like holiday theme ones. Well, one's a summer theme, and one's a winter holiday theme. That that's what I've seen. I've I've seen those other three hacks, and I believe that's off their site. You can find that. I think on the newerteam.com. Yeah, newerteam.com, not the newerteam.com. I believe. Could be wrong on that. Anyways, yeah, these definitely like one of my favorite types of levels, and I've made my own hacks. I didn't really have levels like this. Another kind of like level I enjoy is uh, just basically le levels with a lot of pipes. I remember I had this one level in particular, and we might see it someday, that was like really based off pipes. Like you didn't go through a whole lot of them, but it was just based off pipes and ropes, and I don't know why. It just really set in well as a level I enjoyed, so that's, that's pretty awesome. And it's great today, just really f feeling the enthusiasm. It's like last time I did a recording session... It started out enthusiastic because I thought I had a day off, and then I got called into work, and don't get me wrong, I like my job, but it's just been a lot of work and no play, frankly. And the entertainment I've been hoping to have is hockey, and it's just not been going well. Alright, just wanted to see where that goes. Ooh, another challenge house. I believe I've done this, actually. So I might have done that level before. Didn't really look familiar. Like I said, I kind of go on autopilot when I play games with friends sometimes. Uh, collect all the stars before time runs out for a special prize. Unfortunately, I might actually get a bit done in this game tomorrow, like off screen, just um, having friends over and whatnot. I went out and bought Wii remotes finally, because I've kind of been the guy that never had more than like one Wii remote. There wasn't much need to really justify getting it, because when I lived in my old city of Edmonton, it was uh, just, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I didn't have a lot of friends in Edmonton, whereas here I do, so... There never really was not a lot of need for getting another Wii remote. And then when I got here, it's just kind of like when I met up with friends. You know, they just kind of brought the Wii remotes. But now I have three of my own, so... I don't know, just kind of impulse buy today. I mean, I already had the two, because I bought that third-party one, and then I wanted an actual one, and then... I just decided I want a third one today. Anyways, I'm hoping to do this kind of blind for you guys, because I know you enjoy that, but, um... Might not be, because frankly, I just really enjoy these games, and especially when you get multiple people playing. Although, okay, now we're going upwards and onwards and onwards and forwards. Ooh, Pipeline Tower. So here's another fortress based off the theme of the world. Again, kudos to this idea. I really like it. Rather than just having the generic castle themes, why not blend them with what the world is? It's, it's a really good idea, frankly. Oh, yes, and these are the levels I'm talking about, where you can go from one side of the screen to the other. Like I said, it's been a while since I played newer super, or new Super Mario Bros. Wii, so I don't know for sure if, um... Also, Propeller Overkill, why not? Yeah, I don't know for sure if, um... If they had the, this, um, type of level in, um... New Super Mario Bros. Wii. You know, I don't need this. I just, I just felt like going Overkill there for a second. I was aware of what I... Oh, dang it. I can go through those pipes, whatever. It's a lost cause now. Oh, another thing I had to address, the star coins will do something. If you collect all of them, you will get an extra ten levels, I think he said. Which you can also get through alternate means for some of them, I believe. And I wasn't quite clear on that. But definitely nice to have some of these things addressed for me. Just, um, I mean, obviously with Chrono Trigger, I had people addressing things because it's a well-known game. But like when it comes to this, um, not a whole lot of people are going to have played it. Also, why... Oh, okay. I was going to say, if that shoots directly up, that's going to hit a pipe. No, that was cleverly done. I really like these pipes as well, that you can kind of like see through them. It's, I don't know. It's not like a big thing, but it it's the little things, alright? It, it really just is, in a lot of scenarios. I feel like there's going to be... There we go. I knew it. See, I know how these people work. Kind of. I know how games work, rather. Fan-made stuff is a bit harder to predict. Why did that make the sound effect of that when we didn't do that? Alright, game, you're making me crazy. Alright. Actually, just having stuff to look forward to is rather... You can tell the difference usually. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, I have played this level too. I've played this with Garrett, I remember. Oh yeah, yes, yes. Just the part I was thinking of. Okay, so I remember Garrett would take the far right pipe and I'd take this one. I think we had to do this a couple times, but, um, I believe it, it, it was good answer. Oh, wait, well, he took the far right one, then where does that go? I'm trying to, oh, right, his goes to the star coin, and you can't go back down these. I believe you can go down this guy, though, if you wish. Let's just try not to, yeah, okay. If you hug the wall there, you can, just a little pro tip, I guess. 
even though I'm not really remotely a pro at a game, I don't know, is just hug the wall like that and you're uh, going to be able to... Oh, do we have to go back down there now? Oh, okay, we can just go through here. Right on! Just thought of everything. Yeah, uh, just hug the wall there and you can see where those little spike balls are going. So you have to just buy yourself a bit more time, basically. Okay, buddy. And... Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I was... Screen transitions. It's going to be weird when things like that happen. Oh. And then I, I don't know why. I looked away from Mario there for a second, but... Okay, wait. Oh! Ah, no! Great. Let's try that again! Perfect. Wait. Could I have gone up that pipe? Yeah, these, these, these pipe mazes are sometimes interesting. Especially, I, I know how much... Please shoot me. Oh, okay. It's not really what I want to happen game, but... Uh, how are we going to do this? Alright. Oh, that's spiky death over there. Wait, wait. Oh, okay, wait. I, you got to think... Uh, I'm all fourth dimensional here. What is the word? You got okay. So here's what we gotta do. You know, let's try and get ourselves a bit of a running start. Go! Perfect. Forgot what I was saying. Yeah, kudos to them because pipe maze levels are not like levels do with a lot of pipes and transport. They're usually a lot more work to make. I, I mean, I've only used lunar magic, but I, I know it's it's pretty much the same thing. Like I, I know the editing will be different, but it's the same concept really. When actually designing the levels themselves. Anyways, this guy, there's bosses like this. This is kind of like a hybrid of some of the Super Mario World bosses and uh, where they fall right where you are. Like, I forget which, is it Roy? There's a boss in um, Super Mario World like that where he will, um, dang it, let's try, uh, crap, I don't want to die. Okay. Where, where, where he'll like run along the side, then he'll run along the roof to go. There we go. Run along the roof to drop on you, basically jump on him. So, uh, like, I mean, obviously he's going for his own design there, but that's kind of a hybrid of, just personally to me, it's a hybrid of a, the final Bowser fight in Mario 3 and, um, I guess, I think Roy from Super Mario World? Kind of, but it is it is definitely its original things. I mean, there's a lot of things different about it at the same time, so... Alright, we are back. Kind of, yeah, just uh, getting rid of the loading screen there, like we usually do. We, anyways, we're on to, uh... Deserty Beach World. Like I said, he likes to do some hybrids, so... Definitely kudos to that as well. I can't really find too much to complain about, honestly. That, that's why I, like, I looked into this hack before I, like, started playing it, let alone Let's Playing it, just to make sure it looked, like, good. The trailer looked good. I, I like the addition of the new power-up, which I believe we start seeing soon, actually. And everything I've played so far has been pretty well good, so... No real complaints. I like the originality he's using on all of these, so... I never actually expected to have the creator of the game watching, so that's... Let alone, like... Jeez, man, it was like four hours after I uploaded the first episode or something. Got a reply, and it was just... Well, I didn't know it was a creator at first, but it's interesting. Alright, so... Uh, I don't want those Koopas to hurt me. Alright, let's go down here. Get ourselves a little secret. I'm gonna have fun getting all those star coins at the end of the game again. Jeez, alright. Oh, wow, there's a lot of coins there. And there's our special uh, star coin, that's it. Man, I just realized we're at 49 lives already. Hooray, I can do lots of failing. Let's, let's not, though, because, you know, failing... I guess you, guys, you guys probably want to see failing. I don't, personally, because it's me playing. So let's keep having success. How many times have I even died? I think twice, three times. I'm probably way off. I'll get corrected, I'm sure. Oh, crap! Crap! Like I said, my last few days since I played this are a blur of bakery and... Oilers losing hockey, and that's literally all my life has been for a bit. So, as we intro the vi video, we're talking about that again, just as we were. All right, uh, ice flower, nice ice flower, really nice in the desert world for sure. Uh, we can throw these at this guy, but why bother when you can ice them? And actually, yeah, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to stack these up to get in the pipe. I, I, I treat that like I know what I'm doing, but I uh, kind of just noticed that as it happened. Crap. Oh, wait. Go, go. Nope. Ah. I, think there, I feel like you can't help but feel like there's something over there. Dang it. All right, let's just get coins. It's a coin farming area, so coins. Yeah. All right. Well, this is some interesting design he's using for the coins. Is it supposed to make out anything? 
I don't know. He'll he'll probably know. He'll tell me. I think, but um, if he's still watching, anyways. But uh, <laughs> oh, interesting design there, anyways. Uh, let's just make sure there's no hidden secrets. He's pretty good at pointing them out though, with like the little divots in the wall. So right there. I I still don't know if it's a group project, but I'd like to not repeat myself as much because usually these things are answered in the video, and then when I do multiple uh videos in one recording session, it it, it looks like I act like I didn't read the answer. Which is not the case. Ah, dang it. Just leave it at that. Anyways, wait. That was the alternate exit, too. Oh, jeez. Did I get that last time? Yeah, um, wait. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It was a blur. Don't pay much attention. So one thing I noticed with the tiles, too, is that they will only go purple once you've gotten one exit. And it'll stay purple until you've gotten the other exit. So... I believe... Should we open... Yeah, you know, Wait, is there three exits? It looks like that's a possibility. Well, maybe it goes right then down. I don't know. Let's find out either way. I'll cut you guys to where we left off in this level. Alright, we are back! Ah! Uh, when I when I froze that guy, it didn't work out quite the way it did the first time. So, can we, uh, get him? There we go, okay. Oh, frick, I don't know if I want to stay in any of these quicksands... Uh, the screen doesn't appear to be- oh, there's an arrow. Which one does he want me to go through, though? There is an arrow over there. Oh, buddy. Buddy, I hope you're not lay tricking me. I, I see that- I see that arrow, boy, but I don't know if it's, uh, gonna do me- dang it. I hate that, cause, like, it's one thing I always hate about playing this game, or the, like, um, just New Super Mario Bros. in general. Okay, great, that took us somewhere. Um, is that when I, like, went to, like, whenever I- just like that. Alright. Oh, wonderful. Well, while we were waiting, yes, I'll explain what I mean. Uh. Thank you. Don't you dare. Don't, don't do it again. Okay. Yeah, whenever, just because of the motion controls, like, whenever I found a waiting point, I'd always just, like, I don't know, go to itch my neck or whatever. And going to do so, like, that will make it spin. Also, I usually didn't have a microphone to hit back then, so that's wonderful. But yeah, that would be a thing, so... Anyways... Now I'm talking about itches, that's like all I can feel in my head. Then again, I'm wearing a hat all day for bakery, so... <laughs> oh, jeez. You know what? I'll take the hat over friggin' what they're making the girls wear there today. Shit, like... You guys don't even want to... Ah, uh, how do I explain? Okay. So they're supposed to, um... Jeez, why am I talking about work? Whatever. We're supposed to have these like this like muffin um, month or whatever, where we're like selling a lot of muffins and stuff. And um, oh crap! That's what I get for talking about muffins on the show. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Oh. We'll be right back. Oh no! Yay! Really? Alright, just cutting back here. Um, I like went in a little spot here and I guess there's another way to get up here. Alright, well that's 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 good design. Because um well maybe the guy has to be dead. I don't think he's platforms that appear if he's in the way, but I threw a barrel at his head and it made that appear. But yeah, I guess you can freeze him or go up here. I guess freezing him is probably like the less reliable way of doing it, so it, it is possible, so that's the thing. We'll be right back. Alright, we are back to where I died. And now, I, I'm gonna risk talking about, um, what work was trying to make us do. Uh, um, I went to work yesterday, and they're like, Great, our new, um, shirts are in to promote Muffin Month or whatever. Mu what is, Muffin Madness, that's it. Uh, wait, there's a little divot there. Why is there a divot there? Oh, wait, that's just... I don't, that's, I don't know, that's weird. Ah! I did not pick how that would bounce correctly. Yeah, but they're supposed to be, like, blue shirts and whatever. My sh my store does promotional things like that sometimes. Not usually the bakery department, but, um... Uh, let's go get a one-up while we're talking about this. Yay, okay. <laughs> the Muffin Man the shirts come in pink. And they're like, we all have to wear this. And the other two guys and myself work that work there, because there's three guys and, like, ten girls? I don't know. We're just, like... Yeah, screw that, but... <laughs> Anyways, I didn't have to wear that today. I don't even know where this story started. Frick, I don't know. 
I didn't have to wear that today anyways because I work night shift and I don't really um, have anyone to monitor whether I'm wearing it or not. Anyways, on that topic, we're going to go to one of these three options of where to go. Jeez, I love the branching paths, but holy crap. Alright, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos, and comment if you wish, and we'll see you on the next episode. This has been Catalystic Camication, thanking you for watching.